what's going on guys and welcome back to another Cinema 4D video. Uh, so in this video I want to show you the bevel uh, deformer. Uh, so you know you have the permanent bevel, uh, that's your bevel tool uh, when it comes to modeling. So let me just model something real quick. Uh, grab this cube, make it editable by clicking C. Uh, let's just optimize the points real quick. Select all the points, right click, optimize. And let's select this face and then uh, enter extrude and then extrude up maybe scale it down extrude again outwards and then let's pull pull that up uh, so we have this little shape here uh, so as you know if you want to bevel your edges you can obviously select your edge or multiple edges you know just like this and then you go to your bevel tool for modeling and you can bevel just like this and then you know you can be uh, you know, modeling, continue modeling, and so on. But the problem is, if you want to change this uh, later on, uh, you can't. It's a permanent uh, solution. You know, this change you cannot undo. Uh, so you know, when uh, when it comes along uh, later on, when you're modeling and you want to do some other custom changes, so let me just click K or double K for a knife tool, and uh, maybe make a few cuts here, and maybe extrude this one out and as you can see like for example I wanted to extrude uh, from this point but since I have all these subdivisions it makes it hard for me to extrude so I have to uh, sacrifice and uh, you know make my cuts under the subdivisions and so on uh, so obviously your beveling you want to do later on in stages when you're like almost finished in your model uh, but if you use the bevel deformer uh, it's really nice uh, because you can uh, you can check and uncheck and uh, undo all the changes and then continue working on your model and then bring in the bevel again later on and keep checking and uh, see how it looks, how your model looks with bevel and without the bevel. Uh, so let me just undo until uh, I had uh, my mesh without the bevel. So now let's bring in the bevel deformer, which is this right here, and make a child of the cube. And so you have a few different options here. So you can bevel your edges, uh, your polygons, or your points. Uh, so as you can see, if you do edges, it starts beveling the edges for us. But uh, let me just increase the offset so you can see better and bump up the subdivisions. So as you can see, all the uh, edges on our mesh get beveled. And anytime, uh, you know, if you want to go back and keep modeling, you can just click this little check uh, checkbox and everything goes back to normal. Uh, so you have this little cool feature here and then you have uh, other options, you know, solid, chamber, uh, use angle, uh, just like you have before, offset, subdivision, depth, and uh, different topology uh, options and shaping. Uh, but another cool thing you can do, uh, so for example, you don't want bevel uh, deformer to affect all the edges. Uh, so let me just uh, uncheck so it goes back to normal. I click my little cube, go my edges, and for example, I just want uh, bevel to happen on top here, and also uh, on the middle edges here. Let me just select this edge. And now what you can do is uh, set your selection. So if you go to selection tool or selection toolbar, and do set selection, it's going to make a tag with the selection of the edges you did. So now you can go back to your bevel deformer. As you can see right now, it's beveling all the edges. But if you drop your uh, set selection into a selection uh, section here in the bevel deformer, it only, it's only going to uh, bevel the edges you selected. So now you have this uh, little feature here, so where you can uh, you know, check how your model looks with those edges selected. And then you can always undo. So just uncheck, go back, and keep modeling. So maybe we got to extrude here. And then we have to make this smaller. And then we gotta in extrude and extrude inwards. So we have this little shape here. And now we can activate our bevel. And uh, let me just uh, go through our uh, object mode. As you can see, everything's getting beveled. But right now, you wanna update uh, the edges that we just uh, wanna bevel. Uh, so we go to our edge tool or our edge selection and select all the edges from before and now let's just undo this edge and maybe add these edges only 
and now we can just select uh, set selection again it's going to update and now as you can see uh, the bevel deformer is only beveling the edges we selected and we can always uh, deselect so right now as you can see here is breaking um, the geometry in this, in this portion right here so we can go back uh, to our selection undo the bevel deformer undo this edge and then we do select set selection and now we can just redo the bevel deformer go back to the object mode and as you can see it only bevels uh, the edges that we selected and if we're getting a nice preview you can always change the uh, uh, shading mode to see your lines better uh, but the big thing is is uh, this this is not a permanent change so you can always uh, model keep modeling and then add your bevel deformer and see how it looks with the beveled edges and then undo and then keep modeling again and so on uh, so hopefully this uh, little tip helped you uh, please leave a like subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you in my next video guys uh, have a good day